channel help the dark extra no kindness i'm victor i'm busy and today we're going to be reading in leviticus 8 so if you'd like you can turn to your bible and we can get reading and the lord spake unto moses saying take aaron and his sons with him and the garments and the anointing oil and a bullock for the sin offering and two rams and a basket of unleavened bread and gather thou all the congregation together unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation and moses did as the lord commanded him and the assembly was gathered together unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation and Moses said unto the congregation, This is the thing which the Lord commanded to be done. And Moses brought Aaron and his sons and washed them with water. And he put upon them the coat and girded him with the girdle and clothed him with the robe. And put the ephod upon him, and he girded him with the curious girdle of the ephod and bound it unto him therewith. And put the breastplate upon him, and he put and he put in the breastplate the urim and the thummim, and he put the mitre upon his head. And also upon the mitre, even upon his forefront, did he put the golden plate, the holy crown, as the Lord commanded Moses. And Moses took the anointing oil and anointed the tabernacle and all that was therein, and sanctified them. And he sprinkled thereof upon the altar seven times, and anointed the altar and all his vessels, both the lever and his foot, to sanctify them. And he poured of the anointing oil upon the head, upon Aaron's head, and anointed him to sanctify him. And Moses brought Aaron's sons and put coats upon them and girded them with girdles and put bonnets upon them as the Lord commanded Moses and he brought the bullock for the sin offering and Aaron and his sons laid their hands upon the head of the bullock for the sin offering and he slew it and Moses took the blood and put it upon the horns of the altar round about with his finger and purified the altar and poured the blood of the bottom of the altar and sanctified it to make the reconciliation upon it and he took all the fat that was upon the inwards and the call above the liver and the two kidneys and their fat and Moses burned it upon the altar. But the bullock and his hide, his flesh and his dung, he burnt with fire without the camp as the Lord commanded Moses. Okay. What did Moses do? What God told him. Mm -hmm. Verse 18. And he brought the ram for the burnt offering and Aaron and his sons laid their hands upon the head of the ram and he killed it. And Moses and Moses sprinkled the blood upon the altar round about, and he cut the ram into pieces. And Moses burnt the head and the pieces and the fat, and he washed the inwards and the legs in the water. And Moses burnt the whole ram upon the altar. It was a burnt sacrifice for a sweet savor and an offering made by fire unto the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. What did he bring for the burnt offering? The ram. Mm -hmm. Verse 22. And he brought the other ram, the ram of consecration, and Aaron and his sons laid their hands upon the head of the ram, and he slew it. And Moses took of the blood of it, and he put it upon the tip of Aaron's right ear, and upon the thumb of his right hand, and upon the great toe of his right foot. And he brought Aaron's sons, and Moses put and Moses put of the blood upon the tip of their right ear, and upon the thumb of their right hand, and upon the great toes of their right feet. And Moses sprinkled the blood upon the altar round about, and he took the fat and the rump, and all the fat that was upon the inwards, and the call above the liver, and the two kidneys, and their fat, and the right shoulder. And out of the basket of unleavened bread there was th that was before the Lord, he took one unleavened cake, and a cake of oiled bread, and of one wafer, and put them on the fat and upon the right shoulder. And he put all, uh, and he put all upon Aaron's hands, and upon his son's hands, and waved them for a wave offering before the Lord. And Moses took them off their hands, and burnt them on the altar upon the burnt offering, they were consecrations for a sweet savor. It is an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And Moses took the breast and waved it for a wave offering before the Lord. For of the ram of consecration, it was Moses' part, as the Lord commanded Moses. And Moses took of the anointing oil and of the blood which was upon the altar and sprinkled it upon Aaron and upon his garments and upon his sons and upon his sons' garments with him and sanctified Aaron and the garments and his sons and his sons' garments with him. What other ram did he bring? The ram of Consecration. Mm -hmm. Verse 31. And Moses said unto Aaron and to his sons, Boil the flesh at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and there eat it with the bread that is in the basket of consecrations, as I commanded, saying, Aaron and his sons shall eat it, and, the, and that which remaineth of the flesh and of the bread ye, shall ye burn with fire. And ye shall not go out of the door of the tabernacle of the, con of the congregation in seven days until the days of your consecration be 
at an end. For seven days shall he consecrate you, as he hath done this day, so the Lord hath commanded to do, to make an atonement for you. Therefore ye shall ye abide at the door of the tabernacle of the con congregation day and night seven days, and keep the charge of the Lord, that ye die not, for so I am commanded. How long are they supposed to stay at the tabernacle for? Seven days and seven nights. Mm -hmm. And that is the end. So in summary, this chapter just told you about a burnt offering with two rams, and then it told you about how they were supposed to stay in the tabernacle for seven days and seven nights. And that's it. Now it's time for the prayer jar. This one's for Winnie. Prayers for her son to turn his life over to Christ. This one's for Julie. Prayers for motivation and peace. This one's for Barbara. Prayers for her PTSD to calm down. This one's for Rick. Prayers for all going through hard times. Sound Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for allowing us to wake up another day so that we can live and serve you. Thank you for these prayers and prayer requests from Barbara, Rick, Julie, and Winnie. I pray that if it be your will, it helps people at whatever they may, would need help with. And also, if there's anybody on this list that doesn't know you as the Lord and Savior, I pray they would get that settled before it is eternally too late. And I pray that you send forth labor and sharpness. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. If you liked our video, you can support us by tapping the like button. And also, if you'd like to follow us on our journey as we read the Bible, you can subscribe. And if you'd like to get a little notification every time we upload, you can press the little buzz right next to it. If you have any praise or prayer requests, you can leave those in the comments below. There'll also be an email in the description if you can't comment for whatever reason. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I pray that you have a blessed day. Goodbye. Goodbye.